Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are installing software on our Jetson Aura Nano Developer Kit to make it super. This is only for the official NVIDIA Jetson Aura Nano Developer Kits, the 8GB versions. Super support for modules is coming later. Before we get started, let's go over a few things. This method is for booting from an SD card. I'll go over how to do this with the SSD in a later video. The Jetson must be running firmware for Jetpack 6 and above. That's firmware version 36.3.0 and above. We'll go over how to determine that later in the video. My experience has been that it's easier if you remove any other attached drives, like a NVMe SSD. Finally, your SD card must have at least 64 gigabytes, though I would recommend at least 128 gigabytes. It's also a little bonus tip at the end. Before starting your upgrade, watch the entire video to get a feel for what needs to be done. Let's go. First, we prepare our SD card. We go to the Jetpack SDK page. We scroll down to Jetpack 6.1. Installing Jetpack SD card image method. Download for Jetson or Nano Super Developer Kit. Click that baby and it starts downloading. It's a little over 10 gigabytes. The download time will depend on your connection speed. When it is finished downloading, we can prepare the SD card. Here's an important note, we need to remove the NVP model configuration file after the first startup. Let's wander over to the getting started guide. Let's go to the right image to micro SD card section. You can use a Windows, Mac, or Linux machine. We are going to use Etcher to write the card. We click the download button. I am going to install this from a Debian package. We'll wander over to the GitHub release page and I download the version for my machine. Let's wander over to the downloads directory. We'll open the directory in a terminal here. Password. Let's fire it up. We click the launcher and search for it. Okay, let's flash the file we downloaded. It's in the downloads folder. Now we need to pick our target. You should insert your SD card here. I believe 64 gigabytes is the minimum. I'd recommend at least 128 gigabytes. And then hit flash. Password. And it's off to the races. The flashing time will depend on the speed of your hardware. Remove the SD card. Your Jetson should be powered down to start this process. Place the SD card in your Jetson, then power on the Jetson. When the Jetson boots, you will see the NVIDIA screen. This shows the current firmware version. In this case, it is 36.3.0, which is Jetpack 6. Your firmware must be equal to or greater than this to use this upgrade method. I have a video to upgrade your Jetson to Jetpack 6 from earlier versions using an SD card. I'll leave a link in the description. It takes about a minute to boot, then we are at the familiar OEM setup. I accept my fate. Select your language. Keyboard layout, we set our location, and now for the big test, what is your name? Password, you are worthless and weak. Continue. Then set the partition size. I'll wait to install Chromium. The Jetson will finish up the rest of the setup and reboot. Okay, let's log in. Then we go through the usual first time setup. Let me speed through this. Now, if we look at the power mode, we can see we have 15 and 7 watt available to us. There's one more step to enable 25 watt mode. Let's open up a terminal. Let's change the font size so we can read it. Update information. A reboot is required. Let me rearrange everything. Let's take a look at the current power model. This describes each of the power modes, includes the number of CPUs online, the GPU frequencies, the CPU frequencies, 
and all the low-level goodness you would expect. You need to delete this model. The next time it boots, it will select the appropriate model. I'm hoping it's 25 watt mode. Password. While we are at it, let's install JTOP. Now let's restart the Jetson. When we get back to the NVIDIA screen, we see that the firmware will start updating. This takes about a minute and 45 seconds. Then the Jetson will reboot again. You can see that the firmware version is now 36.4.2. It will finish booting up. And then we can log in. Then we are back at the place we know so well. Let's wander up here to the power mode, select power mode, and we select max N, which is the 25 watt mode. The power mode changes to max N. Let's open up a terminal. We'll run JTOP. We are now running Jetpack 6.1 Rev1 L4T 36.4.2. V Power Mode 2, which is Max N. Let's open up a browser. We'll run a video here. That should get us a little GPU action. Everything appears to be working. If you have more than one device that the Jetson can boot from, you may want to set the order in which the boot devices are searched. To do that, hit the Escape key when the NVIDIA splash screen is shown. That will enter Setup. Use the arrow keys to select Boot Manager. This will bring you to the Boot Manager menu. Select the device that you want to boot from and hit the Enter key. The Jetson will then attempt to boot from that device. If you want to permanently set the boot device order, choose Boot Maintenance Manager from the menu. Press Enter when the current order is shown. Shown. You can then use the plus and minus keys to change the order and the arrow keys to change the selection. Remember to press the F10 key to save the order. Hitting escape will exit without changing the order. So there you have it. Let me know if this works for you. Thanks for watching.